Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you another way to do perm rod sets for like a bouncy corkscrew curl instead of a spiral. First up, I'm going to start on clean hair and I'm going to begin my moisture process with Longate Naturals Double Cream Moisture Mask. This deep conditioner is super thick and rich, like it really holds up to the name Double Cream. The first time I used it, I was actually worried it was going to leave my hair feeling oily because it is so thick, but when I rinse it out, it leaves my hair nice and soft. So I rinsed out my hair and next I applied my leave-in and detangle and for my styler, I'll be using the Shrink Away Elongating Curl Cream by Longade. The key to a good perm rod set is to use products that are going to sleek out and elongate your hair while it's wet so you can get a smooth and tight roll across the rod. So that's going to be our theme for this whole video, keeping your hair smooth and keeping it tight. Smooth and tight, smooth and tight. Okay, so I'm going to slow it down and show y'all how to ride. I start off spraying the section of hair with water. Then I apply the product and detangle with my wet brush. Here, I'm starting to smooth my hair and stretch it with the brush and keeping my hair pulled tight with my hand. Like, see how sleek my hair got? Now, I'm going to grab my rod and secure my ends around the end of the rod by rolling it upward once or twice. And I'm still tugging at my hair so it's pulled tight. Now to get that corkscrew look, I grab near the top of the section with my thumb and pointer finger pinching it and just twirl the rod around the hair until I get to the root. Then to secure the strap, I pull it over the top of the section, not underneath because it'll be loose and bushy at the roots. So here it is again, making sure my hair is soaking wet. I'm applying the product and smoothing my hair out with my wet brush and tugging at my hair so it's pulled tight. Then to secure the rod at the ends, I roll it up once or twice. Then to get the quartz screw look to start rotting up, I pinch near the root and wrap the rod around the section of hair. And when I get to the root, I secure the perm rod strap over, not under the hair. And that's it. I do this all over, working in same size, small sections. I don't count rods, but pay attention to the section size and keep in mind that depending on your density, length, and your ability to grip your hair, you may have to use bigger or smaller sections. So like I said earlier, you really have to use a product that's gonna sleek out your curl pattern when you're doing rod sets if you want a smooth rod set. It also has to be moisturizing and your hair has to be detangled so when you're pulling your hair apart, it's not snagging. And in order for it to not be bushy, the product has to have a good hold. The style I'm using today by Long A is lightweight, but it's super moisturizing. It has like a whipped, fluffy butter consistency, which is why it's all over the place, but it left my hair moisturized and defined in the end. Alrighty, so I sat under the dryer for an hour and then I air dried overnight and now I'm gonna take the rods down. So I can still feel the oils from the cream as I'm taking it down. So at first I was separating without adding any oil, but then I remember it's mad humid here and I went through and added the shine and refreshing spray for an extra layer of oil to buffer against the water in the air and avoid some of the frizz. This spray doubles up to add shine as y'all can see here and it also doubles up as a re-moisturizer and refresher spray for next day curls which I'll show y'all in a little bit. So to separate the curls I just pull the curl down and where it naturally starts to part that's where I'm starting to pull the curls apart at. And I get a lot of questions about separating and fluffing, but honestly, it just boils down to how dense your hair is and its elasticity. Like the more dense your hair is, the more volume you're gonna be able to get. And if you have a lot of elasticity, which means your hair stretches pretty well, then you're gonna be able to fluff out and get a big fro. If you have a lot of shrinkage and your hair is not very elastic, then you're not gonna be able to fluff as much. And I'm just being honest because so many people ask me, so now I'm going to pick my hair and the same thing applies when I'm separating. 
there's really no tip or trick to it. I'm just grabbing a section of hair and lifting it up with my wide tooth comb. And if you guys scroll back and look to when I first rinsed out that deep conditioner, you can see that my hair had volume already, like naturally, and it was soaking wet. There are a couple things you can do to stretch your hair out, but just keep in mind when you do that, your curls may not last as long. So one thing you can do is take a scrunchie and do mini pineapples at your root so that the roots are stretched out, but the curl is still held at the ends to give an illusion of thicker hair. Another thing you can do is to take a blow dryer on low heat, and no, it will not damage, but you can take the blow dryer on low heat and just blast your roots so that they stretch out and give an illusion of thicker hair. Just remember, if you have low density and your hair is not very elastic, the more you do this, the more your curls are going to frizz up. Okay, so these are my day one curls. To maintain the style, I have three different ways that I sleep. The first way, which is the most effective way for me, is to do mini pineapples by looping a scrunchie around my hair and leaving it loose. Now I only do four, but when my hair was shorter, I had to do six, so kind of play around to see what number works for you. And with this, I just sleep on a satin pillow and I don't wear a bonnet or anything. I just let my hair lay loose at night. So I'm not gonna undo my pineapples to show y'all the second way, but the second way that I sleep is to take a scarf and tie it around my edges. And I do this when I'm being lazy at night and don't feel like doing the pineapples. So I just tie it around my edges. And then in the back, I just slide it up so that when I lay down, if I lay on my back, my curls are pushed up off of my neck and they're not getting squished. Now the third way, I do this when I'm just being trifling, like beyond lazy. And I just sleep on my satin pillowcase without doing anything. So this is the next day and I just shake and fluff in the morning. And my hair is actually fine because it's only day two. But when my hair gets dry and frizzy to be moisturized, I just add some definition with a moisturizing oil, not a sealant. And I apply it to my hands and finger coil it around my curls with the oil. And this is my day two hair. I hope you enjoyed this detailed video. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do a volume hack video.